don't know how to set up your Webull account for trading, keep watching. In this video, I'll show you what indicators I use for trading on Webull, and I'll even show you how to set them up. Hey, what's good? It's your boy, Matthew Michael. Blessed and excited to be back with you again this week for another video. In today's video, we'll be going over how I have my Webull set up for trading. It's not anything fancy, but it does help to provide structure on when to get in and when to get out when I'm day trading. And just a disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I make these videos purely just for entertainment purposes and to show you how I do things. Should you decide to take anything from this video, that's on you. Also, just wanted to let you know that while this is the setup that I use when I'm day trading on Webull, just wanna be completely transparent with you. I have not been day trading anywhere near as much as I used to, just because of the amount that I've been working lately and the comfort that I've found in trading using Tiblio. But I still do do it here and there, and this is my setup. I'm gonna show you how I have it set up on my phone as well as my desktop. But before I do, Webull is giving away four free stocks when you open an account using the referral link down below in the description, as well as make a minimum deposit of $100. Between those four free stocks is a minimum of $21 of value guaranteed. So just for opening an account on Webull and making a $100 purchase, you are guaranteed a 21% return on your investment right off the bat. So if you haven't already, consider signing up for Webull using the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's hop into Webull. All right, so here we are in the Webull desktop platform. And as you can see uh, right here before me, we have what appears to be a jumbled mess. So really this is not as complicated as it looks. Uh, I really only use three or four if you want to include the little candlesticks. I only use four tools or indicators, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, we're just going to take a quick look at how I set these up, talk about what they do, how I use them, and then, yeah, we're going to move over into the mobile platform. All right, but yeah, uh, the first one that I use is going to be these candlesticks. Uh, they are made with like kind of little boxes and straight lines. Each one of these candles represents a certain amount of time. Right now it's on one minute. I actually like to leave mine on five minutes. So yeah, each of these candles represents five minutes. So uh, what this is saying is it reached a high of 122.03. Like over here, as you can see, the value is furthest to the right. And right down here, it reached a low of 120.95 within this time period so yeah that's kind of what candles tell me whereas uh, looking at the normal chart and how you would change it if you wanted to just look at the regular line is you would click on indicate or not indicators you would click on line style right here and go to this one right here and that shows you just that basic line but i actually like to look at the candles and that's how i like that setup uh, next thing you'll notice is this blue line right here. This is the moving average line. And basically what this is, this is kind of like a mathematical calculation. Uh, this is the average price that the stock should be trading for. And, and one thing I kind of use the moving average for and what many traders use the moving average for, a lot of people use it as a buy and sell signal. I won't let it be my end all be all, but sometimes I'll go off that. Uh, like right here, uh, say this would have crossed above this moving average line and just broke above it. Uh, I might buy in and it could continue to run. Uh, so yeah, that just shows potential right there. And say it was way up above right here and then it just decides to cross and go down. Uh, as you can see, it kind of bounced off this and it just fell down. So yeah, a lot of times when you see it like cross that line, it will make a huge move. So that's why that's that's part of the reason people use it as a buy and sell signal. So that's that's the first indicator, the moving average. I have mine set for 180 days. Like actually, I'll turn that off for now, uh, just so you can see. So uh, yeah, right here where it says indicators, if I wanted to take that off where it says MA, I would just click that. And now that moving average line is gone. Okay, so now the next one we have, this is the MACD or otherwise known as the moving average convergence divergence. And 
wow, that is a mouthful. Uh, it sounds like quite a bit, but uh, really, for the most part, it's quite simple. Uh, basically, whenever these lines touch or they end up crossing, that just shows like a kind of a change in momentum. It look, looks like if the signal line is on top, then the stock is dropping. And if the yellow line is on top, the stock is going up. And yeah, as you can see right here, the yellow line is on top. Uh, the stock is trending back up. So basically the moving average convergence divergence or MACD as most people prefer to call it is really it's just showing you the momentum and when it's about to change. Uh, right here, notice, there, the, notice the lines are fairly close to each other right here. And they're fairly close to each other right here because change in momentum was really short lived. So uh, not much was going on, but right here, notice as they get further apart, uh, it's kind of going stronger to the upside and then right here as it crosses it makes a dip up here So yeah, that's that's kind of how the moving average convergence divergence works If you want more information on that, I don't personally have more videos on that But there are definitely some great videos on YouTube and lots of great books and just in case you don't like that indicator uh, the MACD is up here and if you want to just take that off or put it on you could just Press MACD just like that is gone. And right here, the last one I have is the RSI or the relative strength index. Uh, right here, you can see uh, the RSI ranges from zero to 100. And typically anything below 30 is considered oversold and anything above 70 is considered overbought. So one thing I like to do or, you know, just uh, how this is interpreted is uh, typically when it starts getting into that below 30 or oversold may be a good time to buy depending on why it's oversold and then typically when it gets up to that 70 and it's getting overbought may be a good time to you know maybe sell out uh, take profits or you know grab some puts or something but really uh, all of these indicators are just a piece of the puzzle and you know the more that you can kind of pair together uh, they kind of help to form a full image and also like one thing i love about weeble is they have the news the financials the analysis all this stuff like right here housing the app so you don't have to go far so it just kind of helps you know put together a full picture of what's going on but yeah if i wanted to remove that rsi boom just like that is gone and say i wanted to set it up really fast rsi boom right there macd boom right there moving average boom right there so now we took a look at on the desktop Let's take a quick look of how I have it set up on my phone. All right, so here we are in Weeble. Uh, just gonna take a quick look again at how I set up my indicators, uh, how to switch the indicators uh, on the phone. Uh, we already took a look at the desktop. So yeah, we're just gonna do a quick review of what I, how I have it set up on my phone. Yeah. All right, so as you can see, again, I have this RSI down here. That bottom indicator, the blue line, that is going to be the RSI that's on the phone. And, and I personally like looking at it on the desktop more because uh, you, I don't know, it, it's just drawn out better to me and you know, you got more space for it, it's less jumbled. But yeah, that's the RSI. Okay, and then above it, we have the MACD on the phone. Again, with the MACD, I personally prefer to see this on the desktop as well. It's just so much bigger and I can see a lot more the information is just so much more clear in the desktop. So really, when it comes to the MACD on the phone, I don't really use it that much. If I'm going to be day trading or anything like that, it'll definitely be when I actually have time to sit down and watch it. It'll be when I don't have much going on in my day. But yeah, that's that's how I have it set up. And if you wanted to know how to change the RSI or the MACD uh, right there, uh, basically all you're going to have to do is just like, if I click on the RSI, it just changes. So that's how you change it on the phone. So yeah, right there, got the RSI, and then MACD works the same. Change it back to the MACD. All right, yeah, just like that, that's how you change it. If you were wanting to change these candlesticks to look more like a Robinhood chart, you would just click over on that, that right there, and then for Robinhood, it'll be this line right there. And yeah, you got the little squiggly line. But I personally prefer the candlestick. So yeah, I'm going back to that. And yeah, that's how I like it. And I also like to have it on five minutes instead of one. And also as we look at this chart, you'll notice this blue line going across it. 
uh, that is the moving average again. And if you needed to make it a specific value, you can just click these four squares in the corner, click indicators, and yeah, right there you see I have the moving average. It's off, now it's on. And, and if you needed to edit the time frame for the moving average, you could click more, uh, click this little gear for moving averages, and then adjust that where, where it says 180 days, you can move that around but I like mine at 180, so I'm going to leave it there. All right, so you just got a sneak peek into how I set up my Weeble for trading, how to set up indicators on Weeble's desktop platform, as well as their mobile platform. And if you're really new to trading, you also probably picked up some new terminology. If you learned anything or enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash the like button. It really helps to make sure that everyone who needs to see this video gets the chance to see it. And, and if for some reason you made it this far and you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. And if you haven't already, don't forget to sign up for Weeble using the link down below in the description and get your four free stocks today. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching and peace.